Today I'm going to be reviewing our Bissell Little Green Machine. We've had this one for about a year and a half, maybe two years now. And I just wanted to briefly show you exactly how it works. So first of all, we'll start on the back side here, and that's where you're going to have your cord. And then you can also, of course, wrap this around, and then it actually comes up. So this, um, this hose will wrap around the base all the way around, and then it's going to come up like there. And then you can move this little green thing around to hold it into place. So it keeps it all nicely together. And then the cord is wrapped up there also. Now going back to the front here, um, the main thing that you're going to need, to need to know about both of these is that this is going to be your empty side. So this is where all of your dirty water will go after you clean carpets. And this is going to be where you're going to put the clean water and the soap mixture. Now, one thing that I've had issues with, as you can see a little bit of water dripping there, is that it is virtually impossible to get water into this, put it onto there without getting some onto the rug or the floors or whatever you are cleaning. So just keep that in mind with this bottle. Um, it will have the amount of water, and then it tells you how much soap you're going to put into it to that line there at the bottom. So that's going to be your formula for your clear cleaning carpets and that sort of thing. And then you're going to fill the rest of it up, and then you're going to want to fill it to that water line. However, when you flip it upside down, you're not going to want to, you're going to want to keep it more like this, and then go straight down. Now it does have that um, middle part there that it kind of has to slide into, so you can't go at an angle like this to try and make less of a mess because it won't work. So it actually has to go straight down on this side. Now the good thing about this is when you're taking out the dirty water, this little latch here just pulls up and then it pulls out. So you don't have to worry about spilling the dirty water all over the place, just the clean water. However, you can get some dirty water leaking from that bottom when you pull it out as the dirty water actually goes in through that bottom there from the bottom of the machine. All right, so that's the, a brief overview of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test it out, show you what it looks like when you're using it. So I'm ready to go ahead and clean this little rug that we have here in our room. Before I do that, one thing I also did want to mention is that these things are impossible to actually clean. So you can actually see this dirt stain, and this is just from dirty water over time inside of this. There's this um, plastic thing does not actually come apart. It is just one solid piece. So there's no way for you to actually get this clean. And the water is going to come up from here, and so you're going to consistently get dirt in here. But besides just rinsing it out using that and then using the hole on the bottom that I showed you a, a little a second ago, that is, there's no real way to get these clean. The same as the issue with this end one, you can kind of see I got a little bit of tape on there and that's because my wife actually did try to clean this and it ended up popping off. So we actually had to tape it back on. So what happens is this, you, this is how you're sucking in all the moisture, all the water. So you're gonna get a bunch of dirt in here, but this top part actually does not come off. So that is kind of a con about this specific model is that this top doesn't come off and there's no easy way to clean that. But let me go ahead and show it to you now in use. Now, as you can see, it does have really good suction on this little handle, so it does a good job cleaning. It just has the brushes there on the bottom, so as you're going through, I typically will also scrub, especially if I have a stain, so I'll typically scrub either a lot like this to agitate it or go back and forth to agitate any stains that I might have. Um, and this is where the water is going to come out, and so it does have a nice spray pattern, and again, we've kept had this one for a year and a half, maybe even a bit longer now. Um, so that spray pattern does stay consistent. We haven't had any issues with the water coming out or with the cleaning formula. But again, just a couple of cons. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a little dirty there on top and there's not really any reliable way to get that out. So that is, is kind of a bummer. But overall, definitely a great machine, one that we use consistently with our kids, with our dog. Works amazingly for getting up small messes when you don't want to pull out a bigger one or you don't want to clean all the carpets in your house.